I did not watch Saturday Night Live. I watched the clips. The show's on too late. Quite frankly, I don't think it's that funny anymore. Um, what do you think of Elon Musk's performance? This is the first time since 2015 we've had a non-athlete, non-entertainer on the show, the last person to do that and do well with great ratings. Our former president, Donald Trump. Well, Rob, it's a great question. I mean, what happened on SNL this weekend was that people made stuff up and then said it on television like it's true. And that actually happens pretty frequently in American TV. For example, in 2020, Dominion Voting Systems sued Newsmax over its false claims about election fraud. Newsmax was lying to its own viewers, and Newsmax had to settle that lawsuit. So um, actually, I just need to check in. Are you still telling that lie, or are you telling new lies? Wait, are we talking about, I'm sorry, David, are we talking about, do you want to talk about something completely non-related and try to catch me on a Monday morning totally off topic, or do you want to talk about Elon Musk? Well, I can see why you don't want to talk about Dominion Voting Systems, because if you do, Newsmax could get sued and lose billions of dollars because these are lies. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Funnier than anything I saw on SNL anyway. But um, Damn, yeah, funniest thing I, I've seen from former Obama speechwriters. Just kidding. Da, da. That's true. But, By the way, so obviously, like, if you're the host, this is inconvenient. You know, like being having it pointed out that you lied about the election being stolen, so that like people would leave Fox for you. But I love his defense, which is, you trying to catch me on a Monday morning? Like, no, you can only identify that I didn't care about democracy and I prioritized my career over it on at least a Tuesday, man. Give me one day. <laughs> So well, what happened? What what happened with your Twitter account and the uh, company page? Well, first mine was taken down because we have all the election fraud with these Dominion machines. We have a hundred percent proof. And then I, when they took it down um, uh, about my, three weeks my, ago, I, and then I put it back up. My personal, I put it. It was a Mike. Thing about uh, thank you very much, Mike. Mike, I, you're talking about machines uh, that that we at Newsmax have not been able to verify any of uh, yeah, okay. those you kinds of allegations. What? We uh, just want to let people know probably, that there's I, nothing I, substantive I, that we've I, seen. So, we wanted so to talk to you place. about you canceling culture, if you will. We don't want to relitigate the the allegations that you're making, Mike, because we we. We understand where you are. So let me ask you this. Do you think that this should be temporary because it appears to be permanent? Could you make an argument that it is temporary? What? Could you make an argument that this could be a temporary banning rather than permanent? No, I want it to be a permanent because you know what? They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you okay. think it's not uh, Mike, it's real. I, I, can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have not been able wait, to verify any of those wait allegations. Wait, that you're, you're, Mike, okay. hold on you a second. Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit. Of that guy jumped out a window, actually. Most people don't know that. Um, <laughs> Wow. Okay, so JR, good. there's a lot there. I, first of all, I just want to say, um, we are just a YouTube thing or whatever. And I've even said many times over this pandemic that we are sort of falling apart mentally in terms of our production value. That said, we are a thousand times more professional than Newsmax <laughs> will ever be. <laughs> that was insane. Well, Anyway, what are well, your thoughts? Par well, partially because you know they um they have people like this on, so you know that automatically downgrades your professionalism from the beginning. So it, it doesn't it doesn't really help them in that aspect. Um, there's so many things. I mean, I'm I'm trying to file them on. This is so awesome. Um, I wish I had my popcorn again. I you know I I spoke to a man who was actually holding the documents in his hand. He told me about it, right? He said he was, uh, he infiltrated the global uh, cabal at the UN level, right? And one of the things that he uh, was able to, um, to, to tell me about from his own personal experience, what he witnessed himself was uh, these documents that show that the plan, there is a plan. And this was several years ago, right? The plan was to infiltrate 100 million illegal immigrants. And at that point, they were already at 40 million. And these people would dilute what they called the pool of patriots. Those were their words, right? Yes, that's what their words are. The anonymous people that this guy says he infiltrated at the highest levels of the global cabal. And you can take that to the bank, which they control. 
Um, no, she's speaking absolute nonsense. Now, yes, Laura Logan is capable of sounding educated when she speaks. She's saying the same sort of thing that you'll hear from Alex Jones or Tucker Carlson or Marjorie Green. She sounds marginally more coherent when she says it, but it is all utter nonsense. 